All right, with that said, I'd love you to either close your eyes, lower your gaze, or not. And so always, everything is completely your choice, what you do. Even all the prompts that I use, everything is your choice. And if something doesn't feel right to you, just trust yourself and follow your own um, spirit. Really allowing yourself to sit, settle into your chair or cushion. And really allowing your body to let go. Let go and be supported by your chair, cushion, your breath. And letting the breath be full and deep. And you may want to try inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth or not. Again, everything is your choice. Welcoming yourself. Many of us have not felt welcomed into this world and we live with a sense of not feeling welcome. And yet we can always change that pattern. And so in this moment, to take a moment to really, hey, welcome me with kindness and softness. Really having a friendly and open attitude towards yourself. And take a moment to acknowledge yourself for showing up. You know, it's been said that 90% of life is just showing up and to acknowledge yourself, you're here. You're not at a bar. You know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a bar, but you're choosing to be here and to really deepen your own practice and to be in Sangha, sacred community. Again, allowing the breath to be long, full, and deep. Being aware, tuning into both the in-breath and the out-breath, getting as present as you possibly can with your breath. It's paying exquisite attention with ease and kindness and compassion for yourself. You may want to take a moment to inhale kindness to yourself and exhale kindness to others so inhaling kindness to yourself and exhaling kindness to others that process of breathing keeps us alive just take a moment to really appreciate this natural process of breathing, of breath, of spirit.
allowing yourself to sit with extraordinary respect and care for yourself. Even if there's some voice inside you saying, no, no, not me. Just to notice that and say, oh, okay. Really come back to that because it's a choice in this moment. And really to deeply breathe into experiencing yourself as worthy, as capable, as lovable. You would breathe in yourself, experiencing yourself as really worthy. Truly, you're worthy and capable and lovable. Even if there are voices that say, no, 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 no. That's your intention. You may even want to say some words of appreciation for your positive intentions and your positive actions. Self-acknowledgement is often an underused skill. And perhaps you will say some words of appreciation for your body. Most of us have issues with our bodies. We don't show enough appreciation for our bodies. It's been a part of you and carried you all these years. Breathing, staying in touch with your breath. Sure, it's changed over time, yet it's always been there. And one day it won't. And really to take a moment to touch or feel a part of your body, perhaps putting a hand over your heart. As a reminder, bring care, kindness, compassion for this pretty intense human journey that you've been on and that we've all been on in our own ways. Allowing yourself to take in the five daily reflections or remembrances that some of you may know, probably do. And I'm going to say these words and to really let them in, really absorb, feel. Just like everyone, I am of the nature to age. I have not gone beyond aging. Just like everyone, I am of the nature to sicken. I have not gone beyond sickness. Breathing, staying in touch with your breath. Just like everyone, I am of the nature to die. I have not gone beyond dying. Just like everyone, all that is mine, beloved and pleasant, will change, will disappear and be separated from me.
just like everyone, I am subjected to the results of my own actions, and I am not free from these karmic events. Staying in touch with your breath and just noticing. You can open and be open to this, open to the reality of life versus defending or closing against it. And so really allow your breath, your intention, your goodwill to support your opening, being gentle and compassionate with yourself. and opening to your aliveness in the face of it all, and to honor your courage to simply be alive. And we're gonna sit in silence now for the next period of time, and I will come back and toward the end of our meditation. So really be with yourself, be with your deep sensitivity, honoring yourself, and really staying in touch with your breath throughout.
And just again, paying attention to your breath. And with each breath, inhale, opening, really allowing yourself to open. And with each exhale, just letting go, ah, releasing. So inhaling, opening, exhaling, releasing. Releasing all that you don't need to be holding on to. And really opening into your aliveness. You're alive. And honoring your courage to be alive. Even in the face of impermanence. Really taking your time as you come back to your room, to Sangha, 